this video today, I'm gonna show you this can move, these pins can move without me touching them. They're moving, I'm not even touching them. You can see, I did not even touch them. So this is the magic that I am showing you. So this is the magic that I showed you. Now I will tell you the trick we have to do. From you can see under, you can see under I put a magnet under the clips. They attract to the magnet and then they move. You can see from down. I am attracting the pin in from the chart paper. My name is Muhammad Jaya Said from grade 4. Today I will show you how to plant seeds. This is the white one. I think so that it will be the jasmine one because it's the white one. I don't know. And these are the blueberries. And this blueberry, these are I these are the blueberry seeds. First we have we will make this the space where we have to put the seeds. A little bit here and a little bit here. And all the flower properly to put the seeds everywhere. And 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 and, and not too much that uh, it will like uh, not grow. Sometimes it grow too much in the center. We we have to put one packet but not one packet on one space if you put one packet in one space it will all like uh, it will not go properly some here and some here this is done i think so yeah i think so now these are done now we will pour some water in it In the last, I show you that in the seeds I pour the seeds in it and give water to the plants. And now look how beautiful they have grown. And this one is growing amazing. This one is like wonderful. And this one is also growing. And this one uh, is not that much, but it uh, is like uh, you, you can see that a little bit from here. It, it, we can see the uh, Five days, and this is fully grown. And this, this is fully grown a little bit till here. It is left. Till here it will come. When it will come, it will also be fully grown. As you can see, that my these plants, uh, this plant is fully grown, and as you can see, it is leaves are also oh, yellow now. Uh, Hi, my name is Ashwin. I'm from grade 3A and I'm going to tell you how light travels. So this is my torch and this is my mirror and I'm going to take help from my little brother. Aham, can you go close the... So I, I took my torch and I'm now going to on my torch and we have closed the light. Now I'm going to put the torch light on the mirror and look, it does. The light does not go pass through the mirror. So, because uh, the mirror is on, is an opaque object. If I put the torch like this and I put it on the mirror, it will reflect on my little brother's face. Hi guys, today I am going to measure the mass of an apple. is on zero right now so now we're gonna put an apple in it oh the apple is around one two hundred grams now let's see the pencil pouch 
100 grams. Now let's see the workbook. Let's see. The workbook is around 300 grams. Bye guys. Hope you had fun in my video. Guys, my name is Ibrahim Salman and today we'll see either which object sticks with a magnet or does not stick with a magnet. Okay, here's a wooden block and the magnet does not stick. Okay, here is the um, plastic spoon and it does not stick. And here are the ma uh, nails. Wow, they do stick. Okay, now we'll see which of these objects float or sink. The wooden block. It floats. The spoon. It floats. And what about the nails? They sink. Bye bye guys. Guys, this is Anas Josh from 5B and I'm going to show you a small experiment regarding chemical science. Okay, the things you'll we'll, uh, we'll need are baking soda, salt, all purpose flour, a four by four glass of vinegar, a dropper, a piety. I'm using piety. You can use anything which should contain iodine. This is a bonus experiment. I took a bottle, got two holes in it, uh, put uh, two droppers full with vinegar and this should be airtight and this is baking soda in the bo in bottom of it okay now let's start first i'll use it i'm using rd okay let's open it i'm putting one two three four five one two three four five oh this is okay now let's use it okay one two three four Started bubbling. Wow. Okay, this. Uh, look at this. We have to record it. If the vinegar and the iodine stayed on it, but it, it dissolved and it absorbed. The salt absorbed it, but it's uh, it, it's uh, red from here, red brownish color. But it's like it's still clear from here when we put vinegar on it. If the, when we put vinegar on it, this is some kind of squishy material, and it started bubbling, but. Iodine settled in it. Okay, now let's do our final experiment. This is a second one. This won't do now. Look at it. Let's put more in it. Let's put more in it. One, two, three, four.
turn like this. Guys, now I will put the seeds in the I have half a packet of coriander seeds and I'm gonna be adding them so let's start. Let's open this. I've added the soil and now I'm gonna just add this. So I've added this and we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna water it the next morning so we're gonna wait for it to dry till the morning and tomorrow we're gonna water it so bye hi guys now we're gonna do an experiment called how does light travels so i will turn off the lights So now I have a mirror. I didn't have a torch, so I will use this one. So this is the mirror. So you see how does it reflect? Like? <laughs> you see these? This is how the Reflects. It's reflecting so much. Bye. Bye. So I'm Fazan Rai from 4B and I'm gonna do this magnetic experiment. So first of all, we're gonna do north to north. So let's do north to north. Okay, it goes away. So now let's do south to south. Okay, it goes away. So now let's do north to south, south to north. Let's do that. So this gonna be like this and this. Now this little stick, I don't know. Okay, it sticks. That's good. Now we will try it. Let's try it with some paper clips. We have two paper clips here. And let's see. 
So these are the two paper clips, and we're we're gonna put one in the store. Okay. It it sticks. Now let's try it with a cup, a plastic. Sorry, a paper cup. So let's do it. It does not stick. Let's do it with a wooden wooden pencil. It it actually does not. Okay, it does not. Let's try it with a um, metal steel uh, ruler. So I didn't have aluminum ruler. I know aluminum cannot be stick to the magnet, but I I don't know about the metal uh, steel. You can say. Let's try to stick it. Okay, sticks. So this is not aluminum. Remember this. The ruler is not aluminum. I don't have aluminum ruler, so I'm just using uh, the steel slash metal ruler. Hello everyone, my name is Bihan and I'm going to be sharing my experience how a light travels. Over here I have a torchlight. Whoa. And a mirror. Well, you guys can see this design. My brother is gonna help me. So can you just come in the camera? But I really want I really want to go present him. So he's my brother, his name is Adal and he's in 4A. He's gonna help me with this experiment. So he's gonna go and he's gonna turn off the lights first. Can you please see that? Okay, he's a very good boy. Okay, lights off. Let me turn off my flashlight. Okay, here I am. I hope, yeah, you guys can see me. And my brother is here. Okay. So over here I have my mirror. And my brother's gonna help me hold the mirror. Can we do that? Come on the side. You can come from the back. That's a good choice. Okay, now hold the mirror. Because I don't have more things here today. Okay, now I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Okay, now there's a tricky part that when you put the light on the mirror, it travels somewhere else. I mean, you can't put it. So for this thing, we want the mirror. We're gonna put this flashlight like this on the mirror, and then can you put it down the mirror? Okay, so you guys can see this like this, and now I want the mirror moving. See, you can see a large light. Okay, now you see it. Okay, you see this. Wow, it's traveling. You guys can see this, right? It is traveling. And this is the way it travels first. And let me show how it travels. And please put the man in front of the camera. First, it comes here. on the camera whoa that was a sharp light and we always forgot that okay now you see there's a circle moving right so that is how the light travels and okay i'm gonna actually i want the lights on so my brother my beautiful brother is gonna go there and turn on the lights for me hello i'm here and i hope you guys like this experiment see you next time bye I'm in three in, and I will show you how to make a lava lamp. You will need the following: a plastic bottle half filled with water, baby oil, food color, and two two the same the spleen tablets. Let me show you how to do it. First, open your bottle, and then add a little bit of food coloring. much then 
you have to stir it around like this to make the water green. I will close it and now I will add my baby oil. Now I put the baby oil in the water. You can see now that the oil doesn't sink because of because of this density oil is less dense than water so water sinks and oil doesn't these two the spring tablets these will make the water bubbly because of carbon dioxide we will put them here You can see from the down, they are pushing the bubbles up. Now I will show you how my lava lamp works. First, we will switch off the lights. Then, with, with the help of my laser, I will shine, shine my, shine my laser on my lava lamp. It now so, so. There, there is a finished blown the dark lava lamp.